Would a country with no government be able to survive with just a very heavy common belief in one religion? So, I have a country in the making in my series that has a completely different culture than the rest of the world other than belief in a religion, Profeatism. Since the country is said to be so different and also is the heaviest place of belief in Profeatism, almost to the point of it being a cult, could they survive as a country if they did not have any political leaders, saying this in the sense of a titled leader such as king or president? To apply some more context, this country is called Ebrias, and Ebrazian people automatically hang, or execute by bullet, any person in their country who they find does not believe in Profeatism at all or speaks against it. This would mean any person who could possibly cause trouble inside the country by changing others' minds on the subject or just blatantly trying to take over would be stopped before they can make any effect. But, on the other side, since Profeatism is also known throughout the world and is commonly followed and that Ebrias is considered the heart of the religion because of the religion's law, what would stop other countries from invading and taking over? My answer to that isn't clear but, in my thoughts, there is a god in the Propietism pantheon who is a god of war. I was thinking maybe there would be a group of people in the society that choose to heavily follow this god in the pantheon creating a sort of small army with them maybe training to fight to worship that god. This would be the same with farmers following the fertility god, etc. But still with all this, would this country still be able to survive in the world with a structure like this? Yes, the religion becomes the government. This is known as a theocracy, and is not rare in history. Early Islamic history shows that Muhammad engaged in both religious preaching and politics. North American colonization also shows clear elements of this, as many of the early colonies were founded specifically as havens for persecuted sects. In the absence of strong, local secular governments the nominal government being weeks away by ship, religious leaders ended up taking on much of the necessary governance tasks. Look at the Puritan movement in New England for endless examples of this. In your specific case, you mention that Ebrisian people automatically hang, or execute by bullet, any person in their country who they find does not believe in profeatism at all or speaks against it. What you have is an informal vigilante group or militia, which can easily become institutionalized into a law enforcement agency or criminal justice system if the leaders of Profeatism encourage the members of said militia to formalize their ranks. This could be through the introduction of standardized training regimes delivered at Profetiatistic monasteries by clergy appointed for such, the induction into religious orders of militia members with the associated rules and discipline associated with belonging to such an order, or the establishment of penalties for fighting for Profetiatism in a manner unauthorized by religious leaders. E.g. something like the following decree could get things started. Any follower who has acted or desires to act in favor of the Profetiatistic religion may submit their resume to the local bishop, who, upon his recommendation, may send the follower to three-year crusader training camp at which they will be indoctrinated into level 2 Profetiatistic foundations in preaching and intermediate introduction to advanced best practices in religious police organizational technology, upon completion of which said follower will be inducted into the order of the Iron Fist of the God of War. In just a few sentences above, a few things have been established that are commonly associated with governments. An educational system, with defined entry and exit points. An organized service agency, with official selection, vetting criteria, which may act as a de facto military, police force, and or judicial system. A way to enforce uniformity or discipline, the order of the iron fist presumably has rules that must be obeyed, or possibly even uniforms to wear. If you are uncomfortable with having a single agency handle everything, then you can divide it. Make the members of Order of the Iron Fist who have completed Crusader training camp into police, and establish a separate religious order to act as judges for alleged blasphemers brought in by police.